गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो दिस इज अक सेवन एंड इन दिस सेवन वीक सेवन वी विल फोकस मेनली ऑन द टोटल एलकुलेटी एंड द हार्डनेस क्वेश्चन सो बिगनिंग विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच केम इन गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो द क्वेश्चन इज इन अ वॉटर सैम्पल द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सी ए टू प्लस एम जी टू प्लस एंड एच एच बाई कार्बोनेट आर हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर लीटर थर्टी सिक्स मिलीग्राम पर लीटर ट्वेंटी टू मिलीग्राम पर लीटर रेस्पेक्टिवली द एटॉमिक मास ऑफ वेरियस एलिमेंट्स आर कैल्शियम दे आर गिवेन एज फोर्टी मैग्नीशियम ट्वेंटी फोर हाइड्रोजन वन कार्बन ट्वेल्व एंड ऑक्सीजन सिक्सटीन द टोटल हार्डनेस एंड द टेम्पररी हार्डनेस इन द वॉटर सैम्पल विल बी सो दे हैव गिवेन द फोर ऑप्शन एंड नाउ वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट वन ऑप्शन अमंग दैट सो वी विल फर्स्ट सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन राइट द डाटा गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन सो सो इफ वी लुक एट द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ द सी ए टू प्लस इज हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर लीटर एम जी टू प्लस इज थर्टी सिक्स एंड एच सी ओ थ्री माइनस इज वन ट्वेंटी टू सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सी ओ टू प्लस इज हंड्रेड हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर लीटर सो सो वन मोर थिंग Uh, so concentration okay can we will write the first data concentration of mg2+ is 36 mg per liter and hco3- bicarbonate is 122 mg per liter okay now one more thing so before before beginning this we should know the few formulas and meaning of those formulas first is the moles what is how to calculate number of moles so number of moles is equals to weight in gram and molecular weight okay so similarly now how we calculate the number of gram equivalent number of gram equivalent is equals to weight in gram divided by equivalent weight hmm. we can, we can also write this as number of moles into valency okay so also the equivalent weight how we write the equivalent weight formula for molar mass by valency okay so these three things you should remember while doing solving the alkylate total alkylate question also apart from this there are few other uh, concept like for alkalinity and hardness so alkalinity is caused by sodium alkalinity which is also known as pseudo hardness uh, sorry uh, sodium and this is sodium alkalinity and that is sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate na2co3 okay another is calcium bicarbonate uh, hold three hold twice and cso3 then magnesium bicarbonate and magnesium carbonate okay now coming to hardness hardness is caused by multivalent metallic cations so ca2 plus ca2 plus mg2 plus so all these multivalent cations cause hardness so we will write cso3 caso3 then mgco3 mg hco3 whole twice then comes the calcium and magnesium when they bond with when this suppose calcium bond with calcium chloride calcium sulfate 
and calcium nitrate similarly magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate magnesium nitrate so we call these as non carbonate hardness and up till here we call this as carbonate hardness okay so if you see this is known as sodium alkalinity sodium alkalinity okay so if you see the both the tables if sodium alkalinity is not present that means alkalinity is equal to the carbonate hardness because only this much term will be remaining and this is equivalent to carbonate hardness so if we define now both so if we now define the hardness so hardness is defined as the concentration of it is defined as the concentration of multivalent multivalent metallic cations in the solution these multivalent metallic cations are generally in natural so so okay first point is this and the another is multivalent metallic cations are abundant in natural water are calcium and magnesium okay and apart from these there are other multivalent cations which are aluminum iron aluminum al3 plus strontium sr2 plus okay but these are found in minimum quantity so generally that's why we represent hardness in terms of calcium and magnesium so uh, hardness is basically as i mentioned divided into two types carbonate hardness and the non carbonate hardness and it is measured using spectrophotometric technique also so you should remember in this so okay i hope till now whatever i is it clear whatever i taught till now so on the other thing if you look at alkalinity so till now i discussed about the hardness now i will discuss about the alkalinity so alkalinity is basically caused by carbonate alkalinity co3 2 minus another is bicarbonate alkalinity sco3 2 minus and another is caustic alkalinity oh so this is caustic alkalinity this is bicarbonate alkalinity and this one is carbonate alkalinity okay so <clears throat> this is all about alkalinity and hardness so coming to the question which they asked this in a water sample concentration of calcium and magnesium and bicarbonate are 136 and 122 mg per liter the atomic mass of various elements are ca40 magnesium 24 hydrogen 1 carbon 12 o16 oxygen 16 the total hardness and temporary hardness they are asking so <coughs> another thing which i want to tell is in hydro and hyd since they have asked us about the total hardness and temporary hardness we should understand what is meant by temporary hardness so so bicarbonates sco3 minus 
bicarbonates and carbonates of calcium and magnesium they are referred as temporary uh, temporary hardness okay okay and they causes they causes carbonate hardness okay these bicarbonate and carbonate of calcium and magnesium are temporary hardness because the reason is that this hardness can be removed by simple boiling of water because this hardness can be removed by simple boiling of water hmm okay however so this is carbonate hard this is temporary hardness and this is carbonate hardness so another type of hardness is permanent hardness like sulfate nitrate and chloride of calcium and magnesium okay gives permanent hardness so they are known as permanent hardness okay so these are known as permanent hardness and they causes non carbonate hardness okay so the reason behind they called the permanent hardness because they cannot be removed by simple boiling because they cannot be removed by simple boiling so softening techniques are required to remove this kind of hardness okay so up till now i think i have explained the every details of alkalinity and the hardness now it's time for us to start the question so in this question they are asking total hardness and temporary hardness so so uh, since few people joined late i will just explain that number of moles we know is equals to weight in grams by molecular weight number of gram equivalent is equals to weight in gram by equivalent weight and equivalent weight we referred as molar mass by valency now to uh, uh, calculate the total hardness and temporary hardness we initially wrote the concentration of calcium what is given in the question magnesium and the bicarbonate so for this now we have to find the equivalent weight of calcium equivalent weight so this is we know molar mass by valency okay so therefore for calcium it will be 40 divided by 220 for magnesium it will be 24 divided by 2 for bicarbonate it will be so bicarbonate 1 plus carbon 12 plus 48 divided by 1 because one valency so it will be around uh, 61 okay so after calculating the equivalent weight of each thing so now we will calculate the gram number of gram equivalent so as i mentioned number of gram equivalent is the weight in gram by equivalent weight this we have calculated just now weight in gram is given in the question so we will calculate the number of gram equivalent now number of gram equivalent will be is equals to weight in gram by equivalent weight okay so for calcium it will be so 
so now for calcium it will be number of gram equivalent will be so just uh, so in the question they have given us 100 mg so 100 divided by equivalent weight is 20 so equivalent weight we calculated as 20 so it will be 5 okay now for magnesium it will be so magnesium it is 36 divided by sorry it will be 12 here so for magnesium it will be 36 divided by 12 3 okay so if we have to calculate the hardness now so total number of gram equivalent is equal to the number of gram equivalent of as a CoCO3 in terms of CS because they have asked question in terms of CoCO3 so so total gram equivalent is 8 5 plus 3 8 into gram equivalent of CoCO3 so it will be so if we have to write in terms of CSO3 so we will write equivalent weight sorry we have to multiply it with the gram so here equivalent weight of CSO3 so 8 into equivalent weight is molar mass by valency molar mass will be 100 valency is 2 so it come out to be 8 into 50 400 milligram per liter as CSEO3 similarly for total alkalinity also we have to first calculate the gram equivalent so for calculating the gram equivalent we need to do multi so number of gram equivalent is equal to the equivalent weight by no weight in gram by equivalent weight so weight in gram given in the question is 100 uh, 122 sorry so 122 divided by equivalent weight equivalent weight we calculated as 61 so it came out to be 2 so in terms of CSCO3 we have to multiply it with the equivalent weight of CSCO3 so it came out to be 100 milligram per liter as CSCO3 now the question is asking about the total hardness so total hardness is 400 milligram per liter as CSEO3 however in case of temporary hardness that we call as carbonate hardness it will be minimum of total hardness and alkalinity so minimum is 400 by 100 so out among this minimum is 100 so 100 milligram per liter as CoCO3 so answer is total hardness is 400 temporary hardness is 100 so we have to check the option so 400 option A is correct is it clear Amit So now, okay. So now let's start with the next question. Someone asked this question in the, my previous class that ammonia nitrate is present in a given wastewater, ammonium ion and ammonia. If pH is a deciding factor for proportion of the two points, which of the following statement is correct? Okay. So. So in this question basically uh, first of all we should know in how many forms the ammonium nitrogen exists. Hmm. So so 
so so we first start with what are the different forms of ammonia nitrogen so different forms of ammonia so so in this we will first discuss the presence of of different forms of nitrogen okay so nitrogen exists in different forms one of that form is free ammonia free ammonia organic ammonia and nitrite and nitrate and nitrate okay so free ammonia free ammonia means indicate the free ammonia indicate the recent pollution however or recent pollution so exist this exist as nh4 plus or nh3 okay now coming to the organic ammonia organic ammonia indicates the quantity of nitrogen before decomposition has started quantity of nitrogen before decomposition before decomposition has started okay so organic ammonia it remains in the bonded form with so remain in bonded form with urea and protein okay so nitrite however indicates so let's move to the next slide nitrite nitrite indicates partially decomposed condition partly decomposed condition okay whereas nitrate nitrate indicates old pollution nitrate indicates old pollution okay so so here among the question if you see so they have asked them in terms of ph so these are the basic forms of nitrate nitrogen and so now if we have to know in terms of ph first at ph less than 8 all ammonia is in the form of ammonium ion okay second is at ph is equals to 9.5 so there will be 50% of at ph less than it all ammonia is in the form of ammonium at ph equals to uh, 9.5 50% ammonia exist and 50% ammonium exist third is at ph greater than 11 at ph greater than 11 all ammonia is form of 
और अमोनिया इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अमोनियम फॉर्म ऑफ अमोनिया सो ओके सो नाउ गो बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो फ्रॉम दिस हियर based on the given information which i provided you of data ph less than at all ammonia is in the form of ammonia at ph equal to 9.5 50% ammonia 50% ammonia exists at ph greater than 11 all ammonia is in the form of ammonia nh3 so coming back to the question so based on that given equation given question so option c d is the correct at ph 7 ammonia will be the predominant because as i mentioned at ph less than it all ammonia is in the form of ammonia okay so let's back let's go to the next question so this is just the based you should remember all these factors ph and what are the different types of nitrogen exist free ammonia organic ammonia nitrite nitrate so question number 50 a sample of water has been and as been analyzed for common and results are present in the form of bar diagram so they are asking the non carbonate hardness so in this question basically they have given a diagram where there are many gram equivalent of calcium is 0 to 2.65 then magnesium is 2.5 to 4.10 so they are asking the non carbonate hardness so first of all we will calculate the total hardness because the non carbonate hardness formula is total hardness minus alkalinity okay so first we will calculate the total hardness total hardness is caused by the calcium and magnesium ca2 plus multivalent metallic cations as i mentioned in the previous slides so so they have given in terms of mili equivalent per liter so so total hardness is equals to of calcium and magnesium okay which is equals to 2. 65 plus 4.1 minus 2.65 okay so we will we are we will get 4.1 so this is the gram so see what i did so milli equivalent per liter is equals to gram equivalent 0.265 plus 4.10 minus 2. So this difference. So first this one till here and then till this one till here. So that will give the total Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus. Now we have to multiply it with the number of gram equivalent of CaCO3, which is equal to 50. Because previously we calculated. so how this 50 came so number of gram equivalent is equals to so sorry equal so see this is the number of gram equivalent so here it will be the multiplied by the equivalent weight of it so equivalent weight of cfco3 it will be molecular weight by molecular mass by valency okay so molecular mass of cco3 is 100 valence is 2 so it came out to be 50 so this is in terms this is already gram equivalent if we multiply the gram equivalent uh, sorry for the noise uh, if we multiply the gram equivalent with the equivalent weight of cco3 we will get the total hardness in so this per liter as cco3 now if you have to total hardness we calculated now it's time to calculate the alkalinity 
alkalinity how we calculate so gram alkalinity is caused by the carbonate and the bicarbonate only bicarbonate they have mentioned that is 3.2 gram equivalent so 3.3 of SCO3 minus so 3.3 if we multiply with the equivalent weight of CSCO3 we will get alkalinity as CSCO3 which is equal to 50 so we get as 165 milligram per liter as CSCO3 okay so now for non carbonate hardness it is total hardness minus alkalinity So total hardness we calculated 205 minus 165 so it will be 40 milligram per liter as CSCO3 so answer is 40 okay anyone has any doubt Is it clear? Okay. So now another question in which they have given the analysis of the water samples and they are asking us to calculate the total hardness. So see, whenever you calculate total hardness, we know it is caused by the multivalent metallic cations. So these two among all these ions, only the multivalent metallic cations is Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus, these will cause the hardness. So how we will calculate? So, first of all, we have to milligram per milli equivalent. So, they have given the equivalent weight and they have given the concentration. So, we will first write the given data. Ca2 plus is equal to 60 milligram per liter and equivalent weight is 20. Then, Mg2 plus concentration they have given 36.6 milligram per liter. And equivalent weight is 12.2 now for gram equivalent of ca2 plus it will be given weight by equivalent weight 20 60 by 20 is equal to 3 for this gram equivalent weight of mg2 plus it is 36.6 minus 12.2 it will be three so it so now we got total hardness will equal to since they have asked in terms of CSCO3 we have to multiply with the equivalent weight of CSCO3 this is a gram equivalent till now we have calculated the total gram equivalent will be 3 plus 3 multiplied by the equivalent weight of CSCO3 so 300 milligram per liter F CSCO3. So answer is 300 milligram per liter as CSCO3. Is it is clear? Amit? Okay. Now we will proceed to the last question and after that we will solve, uh, we will just see some theoretical th concepts. So in this they have given a water sample analysis data is given below. They have given calcium, magnesium and bicarbonate. So they have given the concentration of atomic weight and they are asking the carbonate hardness. So we know the fundamental aspect of calculating the carbonate hardness is, is equal to the minimum of total hardness and alkalinity okay so total hardness will be equal to so see now we will directly calculate so calcium it is given concentration 60 and we know equivalent weight is 20 so gram equivalent will be 60 60 divided by the equivalent weight 60 divided by 40 by 2 Plus, similarly for magnesium, given weight is 30. 30 divided by the equivalent weight will be 24 by 2. Okay. 
and to get in terms of CaCO3, we have to multiply it with the equivalent weight of CaCO3. Equivalent weight of CaCO3 is 100 divided by 2. That is given weight uh, molar mass by valency as CaCO3. So now if you calculate this 60 divided by 20 plus 30 divided by 24 into 50. So if you so solve this, but here is one catch. See, they have given the value as 24.31 here. So, but I took it here as 24. So you have to take the exact value which is mentioned in the question. Else your answer will vary a bit. So it is, sorry. So this 24.31 divided by 2. So if you solve it, you will get 12.15 so if you solve this entire thing you will get 3 plus 2.469 into 50 it is 273.4 milligram per liter SCSO3 total hardness be calculated now our it's time to calculate the total alkalinity total alkalinity is 400 and atomic weight is 61 so 400 given weight so it is SCO3 so we have to calculate the given weight and by the equivalent weight equivalent weight will be 61 this is now gram equivalent so we have to multiply this gram equivalent with the equivalent weight of CSCO3 multiply 50 as CSCO3 so if you calculate it so you will get as 327 0.81 milligram per liter so how it is 61 actually this is the given weight and this is the equivalent weight okay and we have multiplied with the equivalent weight of CSEO3 because this total thing is a gram equivalent so previous all questions I have discussed briefly how we have calculated so here I am writing it directly so alkalinity is 327.81 milligram per liter. Now carbonate hardness is equals to the minimum of total hardness which we calculated and alkalinity 327.81. So among them this is minimum. So carbonate hardness is equals to 273.4 milligram per liter. Any doubt you have? <clears throat> in this Amit okay so so I will briefly summarize this today's session and we will see some theoretical concepts also which is very important from Gates perspective so first question we discussed about what will be the total hardness the first question asked about the total hardness and the temporary hardness so in this question we first discussed what is meant by total hardness and then we discussed what is meant by temporary hardness. Temporary hardness are the carbonate and bicarbonate of calcium and magnesium is called as temporary hardness because they can be removed by simply boiling of water. However, so <coughs> then we discussed the number of moles. This is very basic chemistry which we generally learn in class 11-12. So number of moles is equal to weight in gram by molecular weight. Now equivalent weight. Equivalent weight is equal to molar mass by valency. So we calculated the equivalent weight of Cl2 plus Mg2 plus SCO3 minus and then we calculated number of gram equivalent. Number of gram equivalent is equal to weight in gram by equivalent weight. So calculate Cl2 plus weight in gram 100 equivalent weight is 20 which we calculated in the previous slide. Similarly we calculated the same for the magnesium and then what we did to get the total hardness in terms of CSCO3 
we multiply the number of total number of gram equivalent with the equivalent weight of CaCO3. So we got 400 milligram per liter of CaCO3. And similarly, we calculated for SCO3 minus for in calculation of total alkalinity, and we multiplied the gram equivalent with the equivalent weight of CaCO3. So we got 100. So now we know carbonate hardness is the minimum of total hardness and the alkalinity. So minimum is equal to 100 milligram per liter of CaCO3 since 100 is minimum. So also in this before beginning with this section I discussed what are the uh, elements that causes the hardness and what are the elements that causes the alkalinity that is sodium ahead. So all the carbonates and bicarbonates of calcium magnesium they cause the alkalinity however multivalent metallic cations cause hardness. So hardness is defined as a concentration of multivalent metallic cations and major abundant multivalent metallic cations are calcium and magnesium that's why we report hardness in terms of calcium and magnesium. Though other multivalent metallic cations also exist but their quantity is very less compared to this calcium and magnesium like Fe2+, Al3+, Sr2+. Now coming to the so bicarbonate, carbonate of calcium and magnesium are known as temporary hardness and this hardness causes carbonate hardness. They are called as temporary hardness because this hardness can be removed by simply boiling of water. Now, another thing is if the temporary hardness exists, that means the permanent hardness will also exist. So, sulfate, nitrate, chloride of calcium and magnesium causes permanent hardness because they can be removed by boiling, because they cannot be removed by simply boiling. However, this component causes non carbonate hardness. Coming to alkalinity, Alkalinity is caused by three elements carbonate, bicarbonate, and uh, hydroxide OH minus. So, when it is caused by carbonate, we call it carbonate alkalinity. When it is caused by SCO3 minus, we call it tell it bicarbonate alkalinity. And when it is caused by OH minus, we call it tell it caustic alkalinity. Okay. Then we uh, solve one question where pH was the deciding factor for the uh, determination of the two constituents. So we first studied what are the different forms of nitrogen. First is free ammonia, then organic ammonia, then nitrite and nitrate. Okay. Then we indicate what are the individual factors means. Free ammonia when someone says it is a free ammonia, that means it is a recent pollution. When someone says it is organic ammonia, it means quantity of nitrogen before decomposition has started. And this organic ammonia remains in the bonded form with urea or protein. Okay. Now coming to nitrite, nitrate basically means partially decomposed condition and nitrate indicates the old pollution. In terms of pH if we say if the pH is less than 8 all ammonia is in the form of ammonia. If pH is equal to 9.5, 50% ammonia, 50% ammonium exists. If pH is greater than 11, all ammonia is in the form of ammonia. Okay, so based on this our answer is at pH 7, ammonium is dominant, predominant. So, next we studied the total hardness based on the given in the di bar diagram. This is the bar diagram. Okay, so now we first calculated the calcium and magnesium. Since they have asked about the non carbonate hardness, non carbonate hardness basically means total hardness minus alkalinity. Since it is equal to total hardness minus we have to calculate the total hardness and alkalinity both so we calculated the total hardness as well as the alkalinity okay after calculating both we calculate the non carbonate hardness okay now in another case they have mentioned the analysis of the water samples and they are asking total hardness so we know total hardness is caused by the multivalent metallic cations and in the given ions only two are the multivalent metallic cations that is calcium and magnesium. So we calculated the calcium and magnesium. First we calculated the gram equivalent and then we calculated multiplied with the 50 to in, so get in terms as CaCO3. Because the concept says total number of gram equivalent is 6 and the concept says 1 gram equivalent of anything is equivalent to or react with or produces 1 gram equivalent of any other thing. So we multiply it with the 50. So water sample again in the next question they are asking carbonate hardness. 
since you know carbonate hardness is a minimum of total alkalinity and uh, sorry total hardness and alkalinity we calculated the both so we calculated the both and among that we found okay the total hardness is so we calculated the both and among that whatever is the minimum we consider it as a carbonate hardness now coming to the uh, so okay all these things have been done but there are few factors which you should remember when it is for hardness so few theoretical knowledge with important so first is hardness hardness measured by spectrophotometer technique photometric technique okay second is sodium cation imparts pseudo hardness imparts pseudo hardness okay other thing is mgoh hold twice and cso3 these both are the least soluble form of hardness okay also amount of ca2 plus so in the next slide i will write amount of ca2 plus and magnet 2 plus in water is determined by titration with versenet solution that is edta method okay in edta method in edta method water is titrated with ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid using aerochrom black tea also ebt forms red color ebt form red color and titration changes to blue color and titration changes to blue color this you remember it is very important end point is blue color also zero hardness of water is achieved by ion exchange treatment so in this only right zero hardness of water can be achieved is achieved by ion exchange treatment these are very important facts so you should remember this because this questions can come in gate exam or any other exam by some other other way 
so this was all about today's class i hope what it is clear amit if you have any doubt you can ask okay so yes so so okay this was all the class for today's session so so yes if you want to leave you can leave